What up, y'all? It's Moe with Downtown Marie Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Wednesday, February 5th, 2020, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mo, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Guys of the Galaxy and Jurassic World actor Chris Pratt is executive producing and plans to star in a TV series based on the Jack Carr's book, The Terminal List. Training Day filmmaker Antoine Fuqua is to direct and executive produce the conspiracy thriller. The press release from MRC Television says the series follows Reese and his entire platoon of Navy SEALs is ambushed during a high-stakes covert mission. Reese returns home with conflicting memories about the event and questions about his culpability. However, as evidence comes to light, Reese discovers dark forces working against him. Pratt and Fuqua previously collaborated on the 2016 film The Magnificent Seven. Carr tweeted, So cool to see this news drop today. The terminal list cannot be in better hands with Ed Pratt 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 at the helm. There is a backstory to this that I will write about as things progress. Thank you for everything, Chris. Pratt posted in a reply, Honored brother, Antoine and I will do our best to elevate your brilliant work. Thank you for trusting us with the right to the characters you created. If anybody wants an awesome red check out the uh, terminal list, coming soon to TV. John Travolta and Kevin Hart have signed on to play the leads in QB's action comedy series Die Hart. Production for the show is to start Monday with Funny or Die alum Eric Appeal directing. Stubert Scribe, Tripper Clancy, and Derek Kolstad, creators of the John Wick film franchise, wrote Die Hart for the mobile streaming service. Hart is an executive producer on the project. Um, the press release for QB said Tuesday, Kevin Hart plays a fictionalized version of himself who's tired of being the comedic sidekick. He gets his wish when a famous director offers him his dream, to be a leading man action star. But there's a catch. Kevin must first train at the world's greatest action Star School, run by a lunatic, played by Tarelta. Pushed to his limits by his action school coach and a thought-minded rival student, Kevin must survive a series of hilarious, over-the-top action sequences and face his fears if he wants to achieve his dream and land the role of a lifetime. Showtime said Tuesday it has canceled its drama Ray Donovan after seven seasons. The cable network said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, after seven incredible seasons, Ray Donovan has concluded its run on Showtime. We are proud that the series ended amid such strong viewership and on such a powerful note. Our deepest thanks go to Levi Shriver, John Voigt, showrunner David Hollander, and the entire cast and crew, past and present, for their dedicated work. The news arrived that Showtime is wrapping up its other long-running series, Homeland and Shameless. Cast member Dash Metcalf, who plays Brendan Butchie Donovan, mourned on Twitter the cancellation of Ray Donovan. McCall tweeted, It is with a super heavy heart that I have to say, hashtag Ray Donovan will not be coming back. It has been the honor of a lifetime to get to work on the show. You all have embraced us in ways I can never imagine. He added, You opened your Sunday nights and your hearts to this crazy dysfunctional family of characters, and I, or we, are so extremely grateful for every minute we got to share with you. Thank you to my, my incredible cast and to the best crew on both coasts. Uh, May Cope concluded, I love you and have loved this experience I will cherish forever. Thank you all again to all for tuning in and being part of our family all these years. Hashtag farewell, hashtag love, hashtag gratitude. Season 7 of the show about a fixer for the rich and powerful ended on January 19th. Ensemble also included Alan Alda, Zach Granier, Eddie Marsan, Pooch Hall, Kiers Dorsey, and Graham Rogers. The series was created by Ann Biderman. Finesse, the older brother of frequent collaborator Billy Idish, showcased for Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show the everyday sounds he used in her songs, including Bad Guy. Finesse said on Monday about why he incorporates everyday sounds into her songs. I mean, because computers and everything have gotten so much cheaper and more accessible. I feel like a lot of music producers have the same toolbox. He continued, and I think 
like to me as a producer, I always want something to set my stuff apart. Before Fallon played for the audience a drill sound, it is recorded at the dentist that Finesse then put into her song Buried a Friend. Finesse on Bad Guy added in the unique rhythm sound crosswalks make in Australia when it's safe to walk that he recorded. Finesse also discussed how he is working with his sister on the theme song for the upcoming James Bond film No Time to Die. The 22-year-old could not discuss any details about the song, but said it will be released soon and that No Time to Die is great. Finesse is a songwriter, uh, performer, and producer who has also worked with Selena Gomez, Camila Cabello, and Halsey, among others. He released his EP, Blood Harmony, in October and performed the song Let's Fall in Love for the Night on the Tonight Show stage. Now, this is giving a glimpse of Altered Carbon Season 2. The streaming service shared a teaser for the season Tuesday featuring Anthony Mackie as Takeshi Kovacs, a former soldier turned private investigator. Mackie succeeds Joel Kinnaman, who plays Kovacs, in Season 1. The series takes place in a future where a person's memories and consciousness can be transferred into a new body known as a sleep after death. The preview shows Kovacs approach a broken mirror as scenes from his past flash on the screen. He says this is a ghost story. Technology has conquered death. Within this future comes endless past. We are trailed by specters. They cling to us like shadows, but if you chase after your ghost, you just might become one. Netflix also shared a first look photos for the season Tuesday on Twitter. Season 2 will feature returning stars Chris Connor and Renee Elise Goldsberry, along with newcomer Layla Lauren. Kinnaman, James Purefoy, and Martha Higadera star in the first season. Alter Carbon is based on the Richard K. Morgan novel of the same name. Lita Kederligris serves, uh, created the series and serves as co-showrunner with Steve Blackman. Season 2 starts streaming on February 27th. Mac is known for playing Sam Wilson, a.k.a. Falcon, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He last portrayed the character in Avengers Endgame, which opened in theaters in April. Grand-winning singer Lizzo will perform at the 2020 Rodeo Houston. Event organizers announced Tuesday that Lizzo will take the stage March 13th at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Lizzo's performance will take place on Black Heritage Day at the Rodeo and will be her first time performing at the annual event. Tickets for her show go on sale Thursday. Organizer says with her chart-topping hits, award nominations, industry recognition, and fan adulation, it's easy to see why 2019 was the year of Lizzo. Rodeo Houston confirmed the news in a tweet Tuesday. The post reads, the word is out, at Lizzo's coming to hashtag Rodeo Houston 2020. Mark your calendars, y'all. May 13th will be here soon. Rodeo Houston runs from March 3rd to the 22nd. Willie Nelson, Becky G, Mary Morris, Chris Young, and NCT-127 are among the other acts slated to perform. NCT-127 will become the first K-pop group to perform at the Rodeo. Rodeo President Joel Cowley previously said, The Royal Livestock Show and Rodeo is proud to bring such a wide range of musical genres to the Rodeo Houston stage. Lizzo released her third studio album, Because I Love You, in April. She won three awards, including Best Urban Contemporary Album, at the Grammys last month. The heavy metal band Slipknot is reviving its Knotfest Roadshow Tour in 2020. The group announced in a press release Tuesday it will launch its second uh, iteration of the tour in May, featuring special guests, A Day to Remember, Under Oath, and Code Orange. The new tour begins May 30th in Secaucus, New York, and, uh, or rather, Syracuse, New York, and end June 25th in the Woodlands, Texas. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. local time. Slipknot first launched its Nasfest Roadshow Tour in 2019 and performed in 30 cities in North America. This year's tour will consist of 16 shows. Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor says, we, we set a president last year. Nasfest show is a showcase where you never know what to expect. This year is no exception. The bands we have represented all corners of our musical world, just like we do. And they're exciting as hell. I can't wait to watch and enjoy them along with the rest of the fans. Under Oath Keyboarders, Chris Dudley said the band jumped at the chance to tour with Slipknot. He says, when Slipknot asks you to come along for a summer of insanity, there are exactly zero questions to ask. You say yes. This is absolutely going to be one for the books, and we're ready. 
Slipknot released its sixth studio album, We Are Not Your Kind, in August. The album included the singles Unsainted and Solway Firth. The Google Dolls have announced a new North American summer tour that will feature special guests Lifehouse and Forrest Black. The band will kick things off on July 23rd at the Idaho Center Amphitheater in Boise, Idaho. Tickets go on sale for the general public starting on Friday at 10 a.m. local time, except for the August 13th concert in Vienna, Virginia, which go on sale on February 22nd at 10 a.m. local time. Google Dolls released in September their latest album, Miracle Pill, which contains the singles Miracle Pill and Fearless. The group also released on Tuesday a live concert video for Autumn Leaves that was filmed at the Kalamazoo State Theater in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Incubus announced Tuesday a new North American tour that will, speech, that will feature special guests 311 and Bad Flower. The band will kick off the tour on July 15th in Auburn, Washington at the White River Amphitheater before ending things on September 5th in Noblesville, Indiana at the Rough Music Center. Things go on sale for the general public on Friday at 10 a.m. local time through Live Nation. Incubus is set to release an EP titled Trust Fall Side B in April. The project will release the newly released single Our Love alongside Into the Summer. Lab Music Superstar Juan has announced Tuesday a, nor- a new 2020 North American tour in support of his latest album Mas Futuro Que Pasando. The musician will kick off the tour on April 14th in Indianapolis at the Murat Theater before ending on October 25th in Temecola, California at the Pachanga Theater. It has gone on sale for the general public starting Friday at 10 a.m. local time through Ticketmaster. Juan has released Mas Futuro Que Pasando in November. The 23-time Latin Grammy winner was honored at the 2019 Latin Recording Academy Person of the Year in November. And that is your entertainment report for Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the answer report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.